Tonight on Prison and Politics, how will the warden's new austerity measures affect the nutritional content of our gruel? With Ontario's progressive conservatives leading in the polls, can we expect the return of chain gangs? But first, are Canadian prisoners paying too much to their contraband cell phone providers? Welcome to Prison and Politics. I am your host, former journalist and disgraced Senator Ethan Samuelson. And for my own survival, I must contend that no, I do not know Lynn Bayak. My guest today is Burlington Bill, who is here to defend the high cost of his service using his anal cavity to smuggle in burner phones. Hi, Bill. Hi. And let me just say before we begin, there is much more to contraband cell phone service than just stuffing hardware in my rectum. Well, I'm sure that our viewers would love to know why your services cost so much more than our American counterparts. I have spent years carving out my territory, my infrastructure, and my colon. It's not like any old prisoner can just waltz in here with a cell phone in their asshole. <laughs> kind of seems like they can. Well, there's a lot of hidden costs that you don't realize. For example, um, bribing prison guards, paying off the protection racket on time, and maintaining landlines. What can I say? Butt phones are a messy business. Well, how do you respond to accusations that you've been colluding with Richmond Hill Roger to stomp out upstart competitors? That is all hearsay. Let me be clear. Neither I nor Roger had anything to do with Telus getting fucked up in the library last month. Well, it was pretty clear that he was clubbed on the back of the head with a sock full of flip phones. Well, that could have been anybody. I, I hear Freedom Mobile's making a play. Still, you have to know that between you and Roger, there will always be resentment that you charge whatever you want just because you can. Oh, people are always going to be upset about my prices. Okay, but what they don't understand is that I have been seeing dwindling revenues ever since prisoners stopped asking me to sneak in portable TVs in their birthday cakes. Oh, so you're blaming your high prices on cord cutting. At this point, I'm just trying to stay out of the red. I mean, I'm going to have to start bundling contraband cell service with data and black tar heroin. Fascinating. We should talk more about that. After the break, we'll have our sports update where we'll be talking about the annual guards versus prisoners basketball game where there were only six stabbings. Ah, nuts, I bet seven. Oh, so close. <laughs> 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 <laughs>